Good morning from my tent. It started raining about 9.30 last night and it rained the whole night solid. Pretty rough night to be honest with you. Um, it got really cold and sometime in the middle of the night <clears throat> I was worried about my tent so I went out in the rainstorm to make sure that all of my stakes were in good and all my lines were tight and everything was fine. I didn't need to go out, but I was just getting paranoid. But I think it's supposed to rain the entire day. Um, and then it's supposed to be really cold tonight. So I'm two days still from Franklin. So I'm gonna probably just have to deal with this weather. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Well, I am two hours into my hike, and this is the first time that I've pulled out my phone. Um, the rain has died down just a little bit, um, but it's kind of been doing that. It's kind of been dying down and then picking up with a vengeance. Um, but I've warmed up now that I've been hiking, so that's good. Um, and I've gone, I think about 4.8 miles. Um, in the two hours since I started hiking. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm planning to go to the next shelter, Carter Gap Shelter, I think, um, and just kind of regroup, eat some food, drink some water, and plan out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. My original plan was to just go to a tent site, which was gonna be like a 12 mile day. Um, but now I'm not sure that going to a tent site is a good idea. Um, because everything is wet, <laughs> so I need uh, to figure out how to dry out some stuff. So a shelter would at least have a roof over my head, so that's a step in the right direction. Um, I have not even stopped today to have a snack or breakfast or coffee or anything, so I'm very hungry. Um, the next shelter is in less than three miles, so I'm going to try to hightail it there and just kind of recoup. Um, so far, the theme of today has been miserable. <laughs> That's my word. But also just trying to be grateful for the opportunity to be out here. Even though nothing is really going right <laughs> today, at least I'm out here. At least I'm getting to experience this. So I'm trying to have a little bit of Pollyanna in my life and just kind of play the glad game. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings. So a little while back, I stopped at that shelter that I was trying to reach um, and had a quick bite for lunch slash breakfast. Um, but as I was sitting down, I got so chilled, I was shaking, and I kind of realized that I need to either set up camp or... Um, keep hiking. So I decided to keep hiking. And now I am approaching Albert Mountain. We made it a hundred miles. All right, so I am obviously not in the woods anymore. <laughs> I um, wanted to take a few minutes quickly at the end of the day to kind of recap on today and what happened um, and how I am now in a hotel room. So I thought I would um, just do a little recap summary here. Um, last night it started raining about 9.30 and it rained the entire night. We probably got an inch or more of rain and it was not forecasted. For us to get that much rain Saturday night, um, we thought it was going to rain all day on Sunday, today. Um, so it kind of caught um, myself, and then I'm still hiking with Euchre and his dad Dave 
So it kind of caught all of us a little off guard this morning and last night um, having so much rain. Um, Euchre's quilt, his down quilt, got pretty wet from what I understand. So he was concerned about, you know, drying out his gear um, and how he was going to sleep tonight. So this morning at camp, before we left for the day, I kind of said to Euchre, like, I have a really stupid idea. Um, and he said, oh, me too. Is your stupid idea backtracking a mile to the next, the past road to try to get a ride? And I said, no, my stupid idea is to hike 20 miles today and get to Franklin and get out of this mess. And so we kind of like, we're thinking about it all day long, if that was something that we wanted to do. Um, I really did not think we were going to actually be able to hike 20 miles into Franklin today. I think it was 19.9 total. Um, but as the day progressed, we all kind of just got more and more miserable. Um, I can't remember if I said or not, but the first shelter that we stopped at um, was about, I think it was 7.6 miles into the day. And as I was in that shelter trying to eat, it was like my first food of the day, I just was like convulsing, shaking. I was so cold. So at that moment, my I had two options. I could either set up camp and put on dry clothes and, you know, hunker down for the day or just keep hiking. And so I kept hiking. And when I hiked, I did warm up and that was nice. And then I got to the tent site that I was intentionally or intending to go to this morning. Um, that was my goal for the day. It was 12 miles or so. That was my plan. And it was like flooded. So after the campsite, I was like, okay, let's push on to the next shelter. And that was at about um, like 17 miles into the day or 16 something. I'm not even completely sure, um, which is already my longest day. Um, and at that point we were all pretty convinced that it was a good idea to just hike a full 20 miles and get to town. Um, but we, when we got to the last campsite, we had cell service. So we decided, um, if we can get a hotel and if we can get a shuttle, we'll go in. Well, the first hotel we called had vacancies and the first shuttle we called could take us, no problem. So it made it really easy for us to hike the last, I think it was 3.4 miles to Rock Gap parking lot. The shuttle driver picked us up um, and we made our way here to the Comfort Inn um, in Franklin. And tomorrow I'm gonna take my first zero day. Um, in case you don't know, a zero day is simply a day that you hike zero miles. So it's a rest day. And after a really grueling 20 mile day, I'm really looking forward to a break tomorrow. Um, I really never thought I would hike 20 miles this early into my hike. Um, that was never my intention. I, I really wanted to start gradual and work my way up in mileage. Um, but really, like, with the weather, how it was, um, it was still raining when we got off trail. I was supposed to drop to, like, mid-30s tonight. Um, and then the next couple of nights, it's supposed to drop into the low 20s at night. So with all things considered, with... Um, you know, with how the weather was, I'm, I'm gl glad that I did push out those miles. Um, hopefully I feel really good tomorrow and I didn't do any injuries of any kind. Um, right now I'm just feeling super, super tired. So I just wanted to give that recap. Um, looking forward to tomorrow and I'll try to keep filming and show what a zero day looks like. It's going to be my first um, it's going to be my first zero day, so we'll kind of see how that goes. So I'll talk to you all later. Good night.
set up my tent and trying to let it dry out today. So far, so good.